In this video, I'm gonna quickly show you how to fix your iPad if it's not charging at all. Three years back, I uploaded a video here on YouTube showing you guys that you could fix your iPhone if it doesn't charge at all. And that video got me more than 2 million views, which actually made me record this video today in order to show you how to fix the exact same issue, but on an iPad device. In my case, I've got in here an iPad mini and do not worry because this works on any iPad device. Hey, my name is Shaq and in this channel, I help you fixing tech related issues. So if you're into tech content, consider subscribing here to the channel. And hey, at the end of this video, if you find this video useful or supportive, do like the video, leave a comment down below as it helps me in getting recommended here on YouTube so that I can help more people facing the same issue as yours. Without any further ado, let's jump straight into the video. So here we are, I've got in here my iPad mini, in my case I've got in here an old iPad mini, but if you've got a much recent iPad, do not worry because these steps are exactly the same to fix your iPad that doesn't charge at all. This is probably the screen you're dealing with when you look at your iPad once you connect the USB cable or the charger into your iPad device. I know how annoying it is, but do not worry because this will be fixed in this video and all the steps that I'll be showing to you today are going to be the very first steps that the technicians at the Apple Service Center are gonna perform as soon as they get into your iPad device. So the idea in here is to have help you saving money so you can actually fix your iPad on your own if possible. Jumping right into the very first step in here, the very first thing you need to do is actually double check your cables, okay? So make sure you try switching cables from one to another to make sure that the problem doesn't lie here on your cable. In my case, I've got in here, for example, a lightning cable to type C and a lightning to USB. So this is exactly the same thing. It just differs here on the entrance depending on your charging socket, but it's good to try different cables. In my case, I've got in here these two sockets right here. So make sure you also alternate them like different cables with different sockets at home to see that the problem doesn't lie on your cable or on your socket. Okay, so this is the very first step to double check here before moving into the next diagnose step. Now, on step number two, we're gonna perform a forced restart in here, and we've got in here two ways of doing this. And do not worry, you won't lose any data that is stored in your iPad, so do not worry at all. So if you've got an older iPad version, just like mine, which has a home button in built in here, in order to perform the forced restart, you need to press and hold both of these buttons, the home and the power button, continuously for a few seconds until the Apple logo shows up in here on your screen. And if you've got a much recent Apple iPad device, which doesn't have a home button in built on it, you're gonna rapidly tap on volume up and then quickly tap on volume down and then quickly press and hold the power button here on top, okay? This is how it goes. It's gonna be something like one, two, and then press and hold the power button until you see the Apple logo here on your screen. So let me quickly show it to you how this process looks like. One, two, three. I'm pressing and holding both of the buttons, the power button along with the home button, okay? And this is gonna force my iPad to actually restart, okay? Let's keep on waiting, here we go. Once we see the Apple logo, we're gonna release both of the buttons and let it power on. So if you've got an iPad without the home button, simply tap, tap, and press and hold the power button until you see the Apple logo on your iPad and your iPad should turn on. Now, if this doesn't help fixing the problem that you've got, we're moving into the next step. Now, the next step is pretty much simple. You're gonna need toothpick, okay? You're gonna need toothpick, just one is enough to perform this and you need to make sure that you're performing this with a toothpick because it's made of wood and it doesn't conduct electricity. It's very important to make sure that you've got a toothpick and nothing else because something else might damage your iPad device. So let's quickly take one toothpick right here. Let me keep this aside. And then what we'll be doing in here is actually cleaning our charging port because it's very common that dust or lint gets stuck in here in your charging port. So you're gonna insert the toothpick from the right to the left and perform this movement, okay? 
put it in, go left, take it out. Put it in, go left, take it out. Put it in, go left, take it out. So you're gonna be performing this for a couple seconds in order to remove as much lint as possible from your iPad device, okay? You'll then flip your iPad and the other way around perform the same procedure, okay? So you're gonna remove as much lint as you can and this is something that you need to do actually periodically, okay? Every six months, every eight months, make sure you always clean your charging port because in most cases, this is what interrupts the process of charging your iPad device. Now, if this step didn't help you either, we're moving into the last step, okay? So here in the last step, I would recommend you guys to keep your iPad charging for four to five hours continuously, okay? So you're gonna connect your USB cable into your charging socket, okay? You're gonna connect into your Apple iPad device and keep it charging for like four to five hours without touching your iPad, okay? And let's see if it turns on. If it doesn't turn on, if you're still stuck on that same screen which says that your iPad is not charging, then this might be a battery issue on your iPad device. And I would recommend you guys to approach a service center and not try to replace your battery at home because this is something sensitive and needs to be well done. In most cases, it's just your battery that needs to get replaced. Hey, so this was it for today, guys. Thank you so much for making it till the end. And if you find my content useful here on YouTube, consider subscribing, leave a comment down below and like the video. By doing so, you're helping my channel to grow and supporting so that I can actually reach out to more people and consequently help more people facing the same issue as yours. Thanks for watching Fixed by Shek and I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day.